Hey guys, so this morning, first thing, I drove out to a Bath & Body Works outlet in West Branch, Michigan. This is nowhere near my house, but it is the closest one. Um, I wasn't going to go to the other one, I think, in Birch Run, and then there's also one in Grand Rapids. Um, I wasn't going to hit either of those, but I did go to the one in West Branch. It's a smaller one, easier to navigate, and um, I'm going to give you my experience. And... There's a lot of whining probably that's going to ensue in this video. So if you're not into whiny, complainy videos, please log off. This is not a video for you, but I was less than impressed. Okay, so uh, when you first walk in, you got to pick a smaller or large bag. And there's a young lady who was at the front of the store and um, she basically sent, gave you some hand sanitizer right away to like wash your hands. And then you have to pick out your bag and um, usually they have that fabric bag that you just toss stuff into. Those are nowhere to be seen. So you pick up the bag that you're going to, they're going to put all your stuff in and that is how it goes. Um, I went kind of like earlier in the morning. So um, there wasn't a lot of people there and basically there just wasn't a lot of stuff around checkout. Usually they have like containers just sprawling full of stuff. Now is that purposefully being done so people don't touch stuff um, at checkout? Is it purposefully being done so expedited checkout which is possible or is it a lack of stock at this one location? I didn't really get to ask but I was really shocked to see like you know a bunch of shelves completely bare. I've never seen that ever at uh, a Bath and Body Works um, which was kind of bizarre and I'm wondering why they just didn't stage it or just like put a bunch of bags and hang the bags you know so it would be not bare empty shelves like you know what I'm saying like just to kind of stage it differently or put a display up there or something like some cardboard or something but no it was just a bunch of bare shelves so um these candles were twelve dollars and fifty cents each they were fifty percent off um this is a newer line i was very very curious to see the unicorn and the banana bundt cake of course i haven't smelt them yet i just bought them i'm gonna let them sit for like maybe four or five days maybe i'm being neurotic about all of this stuff but i just in case somebody in the store put their face in it and then i'm gonna go put my face in it of course i have the option to just burn everything right now because i bought four candles but um i'm just gonna wait a couple of days before i i look at them. They had a little section of three wick candles for $8. Only one candle really um, I was interested in. The rest were like flannel or tis the season, which are very like holiday sort of candles. And they weren't real big hit at our house. I did find one balsam candle, so I bought it. But the other ones, I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't cracked up about it. And they had the one that smells like men's cologne too. So I took a big old pass. There was a lot of dollar items, but these were the three ounces um, of the body wash, lotion, that sort of stuff. And they had a good amount of it at the store. Like if you like this stuff, um, I unfortunately can't use this because I have one cat pumpkin and this really, it, it, the smell is so overwhelming to him that um, he'll try and scratch his fur off. So if I go and spray some of this and then go give him a kiss or something like that, it'll just affect him because any sort of thing with perfume, he hates it. Um, and he'll like just clean himself uh, feverishly. So I just... I don't buy this stuff anymore. This was 75% off. So this is semi-annual sale. Um, I will give them that. But unfortunately, all this stuff I couldn't buy because of my one cat who's really like sensitive to every stuff with really heavy scents. So I just had to leave it all there. It looked really nice though. So I'm a really good uh, cat owner, that's for sure. And these little, um, they're just little spray you're usually like 550 so there are dollars so a little bit of savings right there you know that would make a really nice like you know if you were sending out a, a birthday gift or something like that just throwing in a little extra something i would have loved to have seen um hand sanitizers that cheap but that was not the case um this was really nice uh they had a display of these holiday and just this specific one and they shaked out to be um a dollar 62 a piece i'll show you that um hand soap a little closer but it's a tree scent i just got four of them i didn't go too crazy because there was one um scent note in there juniper and i wasn't sure how my husband would like that or not um and then all of the Easter stuff that I thought would be $2 or less was $3. So I was, and there was still a lot there because people are not falling for this stuff. They want it cheaper than that or with a coupon. And for this sale, we have no coupon, no coupon with free item, no mailer. I know certain people in Ohio got mail coupons, but we didn't get anything and not even an email coupon. So, mm -hmm. and then, um, 
six for 26 or four for 20. So $5 per hand soap. Mm, no, thanks. That's way too expensive. And like a lot of these sales guys, like honestly, if we're just going to wait for it, maybe before Christmas, if they ever bring back coupons, that may be some deeper savings with that. But this outlet, hot apple fail. I just wasn't seeing it. And um, I'll be really honest too. I wasn't, I was kind of rushed um, because I didn't really want to get in anyone's way and I wanted to just be in and out. I didn't want to be in there very long. And when you can't really smell anything, the trip is quite rushed to 50% off. And then they had a lot of the confetti, strawberry pound cake, all those sort of um, good items. But again, with pumpkin being kind of like, you know, ex exceptionally sensitive to this stuff, um, I couldn't go crazy and get a bunch of... Um, of this stuff because my cat is just way too sensitive to it. Okay, guys, um, this was one find I was very happy and I only got one of them. Um, it is this larger hand sanitizer and I wanted to try it and I'm going to show you a close up of it, but it was five fifty. No sales price there. And I think the pocket backs were five for eight and they're only one ounce a piece. So it is more bang for your buck to buy this guy for five fifty. They also had many different types of sprays and newer items, um, but I wasn't going to buy them. Um, I've been buying a lot of Purell and different things from Walgreens.com. Um, so I just didn't want, I'd rather buy candles than these sort of sprays. I wish I would have found some hand sanitizers for like a dollar a piece or something like that, but that's not happening. I did see this guy. I've never seen this before and it is a soap dispenser. So you just put your soap in there and it's this fancy or marble. I guess it's quite the aesthetic. A lot of people like this look and here it is for 50 and 50. Wouldn't that have been nice with a free coupon, but nope. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you my haul from Bath and Body Works. We have four candles. These three were $12.50 a piece, and I'm going to show you what they are exactly in the notes. I found one $8 uh, candle, fresh balsam. My husband likes stuff that smells like trees, so I thought that might be a winner for him. I got two twisted peppermints. They were $2 a piece. Four of these um, cinnamon pine cones, and they were $1.62 a piece. And then one of the sunshine and lemons. I've wanted to try this, and this guy was full price, which was five fifty. Um, so again, as I stated earlier, no coupons I used for this. I did use a fifty dollar. I bought a gift card, and my order was like sixty four dollars. I used a fifty dollar. I bought a gift card, and I paid fourteen out of pocket for this. So that was a really smart way to use. And I bought a gift card. There is my bag, and here is the receipt. Um, sorry, I'm blocking a couple things because I had some um, like debit card information on there. So, um, okay, let's talk about some of these candles. The first one that was $12.50. Sorry, we have cats running around in the background. We have the um, cinnamon sugar donut. Now, I haven't smelled any of these. I did see if they were burned because I've done that before. I've bought in candles that have been burned before and, and then bring it home and you're like, um, yeah, this candle's half used. This one, um, I wondered if it was a lot like the winter one that they had, um, just in a different packaging. And if it is, I'm gonna grab a couple more. I wanted to wait a couple days before smelling these, um, just in case somebody else smelt them in the store and transfer of germs or whatever. I'm just kind of cautious about that. So this guy was $12.50, and my husband really liked a donut candle before from last winter, so uh, I was wondering if this might be the same one. And the notes are fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, Tahitian vanilla bean, and essential oils. So we'll see. I, there was one with a very cute little um, squirrel on it. So like maybe is that the same one? Is it not? Because this is a white barn line. And um, we'll see. My husband will probably burn it. Um, now these two, I was very, very... Oh, guys, come on. I'm trying to record a video. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, um, I don't like it when they fight that hard. Okay, so these two I really wanted to try out. One is um, banana bundt cake. There was a candle from a couple years back, like probably five years ago, and I think it had a very similar name, and it smelled like banana bread. It was really amazing. And then they, they discontinued it, so I'm hoping this is the same one. So 
probably burn that. It says sweet bananas, toasted walnuts, fresh cinnamon, and essential oils. It does seem like it's very similar to that old one, so that should be very trippy. And if it is the one that they used to have five years ago, I'm definitely gonna buy another one of that. This one, because it's very foo-foo and girly, um, and that this one was also $12.50, and this one was also $12.50. It's called Unicorn Sprinkles. It's just for my personal collection. I'm probably not even gonna burn it, but I just thought it was so, so cute. Um, the packaging gets me every time. And this one, it's fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, sugared lemon with essential oils. That should be really interesting. So, and I love the packaging that it's some donuts. I think it's just really cute. And I love how the, the look of these two, like the design work. This guy, I think it's from last Christmas. It's fresh balsam. Um, my husband likes anything that smells like a tree. And the notes for this one is uh, woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, cedar wood, and with essential oil. So that'll totally be right up his alley. So yeah, these four, this was kind of like the bulk of my purchase uh, buying these four candles. Three were twelve fifty, or three were twelve fifty, and this one was eight. The eight dollars, there was a couple of them. Like, um, I think they had one some sort of like sweater weather or something like that. It smells like men's cologne. I just was not even interested in touching that one. So, but yeah, I was happy to find one eight dollar candle. It would have been nicer to find a lot more, but you know, it, it's the break sometimes. The next thing I got was two, um, these are from the holiday, they're from last year. They are the Twisted Peppermint um, hand washes. And it says a merry, bright, cool blend of peppermint, sugared snow, and a aromatic balsam. So two bucks, I mean, not bad. All of the Easter stuff and uh, stuff from like Mother's Day or whatever, all of that was $3 a piece. I would have loved to have seen everything for $2 a piece, but not the case. And then I found there was a ton of these ones. They're called um, Cinnamon Pine Cone, um, and this is obviously from Christmas. And um, it has notes of fresh pine, cinnamon bark, and juniper. Juniper is a very weird wild card in this. You either love it or hate it. I think it kind of, it can be overwhelming. I'm gonna see if my husband likes this because he likes some um, stuff that smells like trees. And if he doesn't like it, I might just gift these next year for Christmas or something like that. And these were $1.62 a piece, which is like a really fantastic price point uh, for him. Like, this is semi-annual sale. This, lukewarm, this is semi-annual sale, $12.50 a piece, who are they fooling? That's not semi-annual sale. The one thing I was looking for was this, um, and it was this larger um, Bath and Body Works antibacterial hand sanitizer, so 7.6 fluid ounces, and this guy was $5.50, so a good amount of it, and 68% alcohol, wow. They've really stepped it up. Because usually, I think for Purell and the other ones I have, this usually like 62. So that's kind of interesting. So anyhow, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this haul video. Sorry, it's not very overwhelming. And to even pay $64 for this amount, I usually have half a table full of stuff for Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, and I just was not feeling it today. I know another store close to me will be opening up, I think Friday or Saturday, I might check that out. I also might not. Um, I'll have to see how I'm feeling. Um, but um, this is just kind of, um, hmm. I thought it might have been a little better. I mean, it was probably 50% of my expectation, but I'm not like, if I would have to recommend this to you guys, I, again, I would say to pass on it. It's just not worth your time or money because um, usually um, that four weeks towards Christmas, they have sales every week that are just crazy on body care, hand soaps, wallflowers. Um, and it just seemed this one, they just didn't, they didn't put enough consideration towards the consumer to really get us into the store. So I think a lot of us are just gonna, you know, hit the brakes on this sale because it wasn't, wasn't that great. I mean, I was really delighted to be in the store and to track this guy down and using an I bought a gift card was totally the way to do it to, to get a lot of this stuff inexpensive. But I mean, mm, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to think of this. Um, I'm not, it's a lot of money for $64. I could probably get double this with coupons and a little bit of razzle dazzle. So, and I would have loved to have got, also gotten a, at least a free gift, at least this for free with my order, but nope. So that was my haul. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.